We are Hemlock, based out of New York City. We're so excited to be here today. And to get started, all we need from all of you guys is a suggestion of a non-geographical location. So that could be something like an Ikea, uh, an aquarium, a paint and sip, a movie theater, but not any of those because we have been there before. We've been, we, we know what it's like there. So we want a place that maybe we haven't been before. So where, where are you gonna send us? Oh, a farmer's market. Fun, thank you. Let's go explore a farmer's market. Slow day today, huh? No, these apples aren't going to sell themselves. Where is everybody? Right. You know, Jeffrey, when you convinced me to quit my corporate job, you told me that apples sell themselves. Okay. And now here we are on a beautiful Saturday. I could be at home with my kids and my wife, and I'm selling apples underneath this causeway to <sighs> hipsters. Why do you always bring this up, right? Like it's a slow time. I'm not happy about it either. But every single weekend, whenever there's a slow period, you start to get a little anxious and you, you complain like this. I mean, I'm not happy either that it's slow, but I'm also a realist, right? It's not going to be fast moving, selling apples every single second of, of the day. Listen, Jeffrey, okay? I used to be big. I was really big at my company, okay? I was the guy to go to for the things. Yeah, you were. And now, and now I'm Mr. Sells Apples on the side of the road. The best that I could hope for is like, I don't know, some apple cider, you know, uh, drink concoction to like, you know. So remember I worked for the corporation. I remember... And yeah, you had a couple positions higher than me. You were way up there, but we were friends. We would have lunch all the time, right? And I talked to you about this whole farmer's market idea. And it was a way to get out of the rat race. Yeah, I you remember. thought it was a great idea. Me. Do you remember when you told me about it, what you said to me? Flashback to when Katie and Glow were talking about the apple stand. So I think what we can do is sell apples at the app at the farmer's market. And the reason why I say this is that at my grandparents' farm, they've got rows and rows of apple trees that they planted like generations ago. We you know, have, I think it's gonna be great. We can get out of this corporate world. It's, it's gonna be different, a different way of life. Just gonna be, oh, hey, <laughs> it's, you're the guy who can do all the things, right? So I got yeah. some things. I got some things that I really need you to do right now. If that's if that's okay with you and you you are you. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm Fred Sullivan. You I'm, know I'm, what, Bob? I'm, you know what, Bob? Know. Zoom zoom over to um, some children in the hay. Hey. hey! You can't tell them saying hi! 
or hey, because there's a bunch of hey, I could be saying hey, because there's a bunch of hey, I could be saying hey, it's for horses. <laughs> hey. hey, hey, fight. Hey, fight. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. This is really fun. Whoever thought there'd be a barrel of hay beneath a causeway? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is such a fun recreational thing to do while we wait for a mom to come back. I know. I know. I I have to say that my favorite thing about this is that I get to be with you. Aw, sis, I love that I get to be with you too. Oh, oh my goodness. So, I mean, not to like bum us out or anything, but when do you think mom is coming back? It's been like, I don't know, like, I don't really have a concept of exact time, but it's been like an hour, it feels like. Hey, sweeties. Uh, hey. Yep, yep. You're psychic. You said, where's mom? And then there's mom. Oh, my. Wait. It's Am I like Raven from That's So Raven? <gasps> I didn't want to tell you about our family secret, but one of you will inherit that gift. So, yes, you kind of one of you will have it. Um, but, you know, that's that we'll talk about that later. I'm going to go back into the market. I see some good deals on some plants. Um, so go ahead. I brought you guys some water. There you go. Oh, yep. thanks, Mom. Yep. yep. All right. So um, go ahead and um, go, go, keep playing with that. OK, sweeties. Oh, love you. Love you. Uh, love you, Mom. That feels like a really big thing to tell us and then walk away from. Yeah. She must really trust our processing skills. <laughs> so who do you think it is? Because I know that you were just psychic in that moment. But remember when, remember when I said I want baked potatoes and, and fried chicken for dinner? And then we had baked potatoes and fried chicken for dinner. That is I, such a good point. Both it, of those things could be our telepathic abilities or they could just be coincidental things it's still a mystery i'm really glad that our mother has kids do you know where the apple stand is oh 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 i don't know um oh oh wait uh uh, booth, booth uh, number 8729 next to the bee, honey, beeswax stand. Wow, you kids must be psychic. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Whoa. Was I right? Do you think I was right? You could have been right. We'll never actually know because I don't think that person's going to come back and tell us. But, oh my goodness. You know, you know, it would make this day even better. What? If mom came back with some apple pie. Oh my God. Zoom yeah. over to the food court area. Oh, sweetie. Thank you so much for coming here with me today. I, I love that we got all these samples and we're able to just sort of like taste everything and, you know, just, just eat and have a wonderful time together. I love, I love eating with you. It's oh. one of my most favorite things to do. Same, same. I just, you're the you're, you're light of my life. Oh, <laughs> love you. Um, I, just, I also kind of wanted to tell you too, um, I lost my job. What? I knew you were going to take it this way. I, what, is that a bad what or a good what? Like I, it's, it's a bad what on so many levels. Okay. I mean, first of all, are you able to pay for all the, the food and stuff that we buy today? Uh, well, yes. There's still right. money in the bank. I lost the job. That, okay. I didn't lose my bank account. I just lost the job. However, I didn't lose my bank account. I just lost the job. However, I, okay. I right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, okay. Okay. How long, how long, what about our rent? What about, uh, what about our car payment? 
how long, how long is that going to last? I mean, I, I really appreciate being able to like not have to work mm. during the day. Well, you know, I have this Pilates class I go to every single day at noon. You know, I don't want to not be able to go to that. Right, right. Well, actually, I was kind of hoping that this will be an opportunity for us to maybe, you know, change up our roles. You know, maybe I can go and take the Pilates class and, and you can you can return to work. But I like my role. I like my role as Pilates, going to Pilates and like, you know, hanging out at our apartment in the afternoon, maybe taking a nap every once in a while. It keeps me fresh. So then when you come back to work from work, I can just be spunky and lively for conversation. And then we can eat together, which is like my most favorite thing to do with you, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, so, um, are you okay emotionally? That's the other thing that I'm a little worried about. Are you okay emotionally? Because I know when you lose things, it can be really hard. And you lost your job, which can be really hard. Are you okay? Thank you for checking in with me secondarily on, on that. I, I, I really do appreciate the yeah. level of I love care. of yeah. which you... Um, what was your first? Hey, mom. And hey, dad, I got, I went and got apple juice and then give, giving it to me. I was going to go play with the other kids. Can I play? Yeah, go ahead. It's over there. There's a place to go with the other kids. Just go over there. Okay. I love you. Bye. Hey. God, I forgot we brought her. Yeah, me too. Dang. Edit. Hey guys, um, gather round farmers market uh, personnel. We are going to be giving a presentation today. Um, this is a, a workplace etiquette one. I, it's come to my attention that um, some of you are, mm, mm, perhaps you've been a little rude and sassy to our customers and that's just not how we do here at Sunny Farms. So we're going to show you a, a slideshow of what not to do so that you can learn the right way to, uh, to talk to our customers. So um, if you'll just allow me the, the slideshow, I'll just bring this up here. Yeah, so we see here in this first slideshow, um, Bob and Amy are interacting and Bob is just trying to sell Amy some apples. But Amy is really upset because she doesn't like the price of the apples. As you could see, Bob may have overreacted to Amy's uh, complaint about the apples. See, now this is what we might say is completely inappropriate for a farmer's market. We don't use this type of language at a farmer's market. So, ooh, ooh, refrain from using any fingers other than this one to point. Okay, on to the next one. Um, we see here a man named, let's call him John. He's been selling bananas at the banana stand for over 20 years at the farmer's market. Um, Let's just say John has become a little complacent and no longer gives his customers the attention they deserve. Um, as you can see, there are a line of people and mm, John has fallen asleep at his stand. Now, John is going to just lose out on a lot of business at this way. Oof. I don't think that's the right way to treat our customers, is it? Now here, look at this last one. This one is, uh, this one's hard to look at. Do you see all of the employees? Oh, yes. They, they're doing whippets outside of the garbage receptacle area. And as you could tell, they're all out of their minds. Oh, some one of them even got icing all over her face and just, mm. now here at Sunny Farms, we are not allowed to get high on the job. Mm. Still a job, but 
oh, look at the look at the way the drugs has affected this one with her finger in her nose. Oh, that is that is not the kind of mm, environment we want to have here. So anyway, that was the last one. I don't know that I could personally stomach anymore. Does anybody have any questions whatsoever? I'm just wondering what was uh, that that uh, one girl eating? You said it was kind of like icing that I wonder maybe there were drugs in it, but like it looked delicious. It looked so good. Yeah. Oh. It looks like a really good like drugged edible. Yeah. yeah. Or some sort of like, I don't know, flavored cupcake with something infused in it. That's not the point. You, I feel like you're missing the point here. Drugs are drugs are bad. Okay. Was that at plot eight seven two five? Next to the honey beeswax stand. Oh, okay. I, I gotta go. Uh, yeah, uh, I got it. I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta, yeah, I gotta, I gotta go, go, I gotta go over to that stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. See you later. Bye. Edit. Sleep. <laughs> Bring back the two um, apple sellers, Katie and Glow. I just want to say that I accidentally called myself Fred Sullivan back when we first started talking about this. But, you know, I mean, my name is Jeffrey now. <laughs> so I just um, I just want to when you were recounting that situation like a few years ago, I just wanted to make sure that I'm Jeffrey and that's how it's going to be going forward. Oh. It's the guy who does the things and Fred Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence that we run into you at the farmer's market. Farmer's markets. Are you, are you, do you own this stand here? <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm no longer the guy that does the things, okay? I'm Mr. Apples now to you. Oh, oh. So now you're Mr. Apples. Now Mr. you're Mr. Apples, Apples. and Fred Sullivan. <laughs> uh, no, Jeffrey. I, I go by Jeffrey now. I've, you know, now that I've, switch jobs i'm i'm jeffrey really oh. really really happy to be here really 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 happy mr apples is really happy to be here mm -hmm. you know the other day guy i was i was trying to do some things and it made me think of you mm, i bet you did mm -hmm. and oh. and i had some things and i said oh where's that guy he could totally do them you know what I can do though? I I I actually grow apples. That's a hoot, Fred Sullivan. <laughs> oh, Fred yeah, Sullivan. Free. The the guy in the that replaced me to do the things. Is he still making the same salary that I was making by any chance? Oh, he is. He is a man that does the items, so he yes. gets very well. He's very very well compensated. The things is way more important than the items, right? So you had the job before, but then you've kind of moved over to apples, which is like a much more holistic, organic thing. Like I was telling you before. Great. Fred Sullivan, I'm surprised you have anything to say, weren't you? You were a few rankings below. Maybe not back so. in the day when I was Fred, but now I'm Jeffrey. Different oh. world, different, different persona. Oh, yeah. You know what? It's been really nice getting to know you guys, but I think I'm going to check out the... Uh, the beeswax stand next door. <laughs> come back, come back. Are there any spaces left in the? Don't worry about them. They're jerks anyway. Edit. Don't edit. Bring back uh, Mel and Aaron as my kids. All righty, guys. Okay, I'm all done at the market. You guys, good. Finish playing with the hay. Yes, um, we had so much fun in the hay. We loved it so much. But also, Mom, we want to tell you what happened. Yes. Is that after after you blurted out to us that one of us is psychic, only one of us is psychic, me and my sister here spent a lot of time processing that right here in the hay, as you taught us well to process things together. we have people. great processing skills. And... Yes. And then a stranger walked by and asked where the apple stand is. And I said exactly where the apple stand is. Now, I don't know if I was correct because she didn't come back to let us know if she was correct, but it just felt like a psychic moment. Okay. Okay. We're, I love it. Your, your, your psychic's 
or just ting well did you tingle a little bit did you get a little like buzz going beforehand <laughs> did you did you feel like did you see the stars aligning right before it came to you yeah yeah kind of like it was like a little bit blurry okay. but like I think that definitely happened yeah okay. okay okay well you know what not a problem I'm sure it'll hit you guys again soon in fact you know what let's go ahead and go ahead and give you guys a little test <gasps> Peasy. a test yes you guys are at that le level now so you know the next person that, that shows up you'll know you'll know if you know no, we'll, we'll yeah. know for sure which one of us is actually psychic and which one is just really good at being intuitive. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. 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 So I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, you know what? I do see that there is a sale at Victoria's Secrets across the street. You know, go ahead and keep playing in the hay. Mommy will be right back. Oh, I don't know what I'm more excited about: getting to play in the hay, the test. Or the fact that there's a Victoria's Secret at this farmer's market. Honestly, incredible. I knew they weren't doing well fiscally because I read the New York Times, but I had no idea they were at the <laughs> farmer's market. We are such mature children. We <laughs> are the, the, the Victoria's Secret at the farmer's market. <laughs> Welcome to Victoria's Secret at Happy Valley. We have a special discount of bras made out of coconuts. I don't have wings anymore, but I try still. Oh, well, I mean, I just popped in really quickly just because my kids, they, they, they think they're psychic, but they really didn't inherit that portion from me. But like, I didn't want to break their hearts just yet. Anywho, um, yeah, no, I, I, I love the coconut look. Um, oh my gosh, I just, and I love your enthusiasm with selling these. Oh, do you have any that, um, like a more starfish? Like well, we're, we're not having an excellent fiscal year. So we've discontinued the starfish shaped bathing suits. Okay. May I offer you some um, rope? that you can turn into a bikini. Oh my gosh, absolutely. absolutely. I highly recommend it. The reason why I don't have wings anymore is because our fiscal problems, but I still want to try to be an angel. They I did. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. You don't have wings because of your because of the fiscal. Did they like repo your wings? They Due took to budget cuts. Yes, they the cut them off. No longer have wings. Yeah, they cut them off. I feel so depleted right now, but it's okay. I still feel like I could be sexy regardless. Oh, and back over to the children. Right, any minute now, someone's gonna come by with the test. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Who is it going to be? What are they going to ask us for? Oh, I Will feel like one of us should know who's going to come by and what it's going to be for. Oh, oh. Uh, hey, do you guys know what time it is? <gasps> oh, 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 oh. It's, are you okay? It's, uh, <laughs> It's, it's four, four, I see a four. I see a three. Then, add a two. It's 432. Okay, thanks. Wait. Did, did, were you psychic and I intuited it? Or wait, I psychic and you went to it? Or are we each half psychic? Mom didn't tell us about that part being possible, but since what? we're so processing, I feel like that's something that we could, that's possible. Wow. Oh my, what? Cause you came up with the number and then I came up with the number. And I saw some stars and sparks. And I felt really dizzy. <sighs> oh my God. Okay. The, oh. oh. There's another person. Hi, I'm sorry. I got asked a really hard question and I, I, I just don't know what the answer is. I, I, you know, you're little children. Maybe, you know, because you're a little kid. Do you, do you understand what yin and yang is? What is yin and yang? Somebody asked me this question. I have no idea. What is that? Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. You got to give me an answer. Uh, um, oh. oh my goodness. Uh, um, it's, it's, it's ancient symbol used to show two different sides to interpret the good and the bad. And that Ooh. both are synonymous with each other. Okay, that's enough. That's all I need. That's all I need. Thank you so much. You guys are so, you guys are so smart. Thank hey, you. Bring back Katie as Fred Sullivan. Thank you for coming down to my office today. Um, it's it's come to my attention that you you may have given some of your customers some attitude here at Sunny Valley. That that's just not how. I don't know if you saw the presentation. I could play it again for you. Um, we just don't treat people that way. I I heard you harassed a former employee. Oh, we don't do that. You mean like just because I wanted him to use my alter ego's name? I mean, you know, like mm -hmm. there's many other sides to Fred Sullivan and I sometimes want to play those other sides. Oh, I don't know if you remember slide 27, thou shall not lie to the customer. It's not lying. It's just being... It's being my other part. I can turn into that other part if you'd like. Do you want to see my alter ego? No, no, no. That feels quite duplicitous. I, I, I just, I don't know. I, mm, oh. Yeah. Hi, my name's Jeffrey and I sell apples. Would you like an apple? I, I'm good, thank you. Everybody likes apples. Oh, okay. Hey, um, is this, it, is this, this the macrame bracelet stand? Some two little girls told me that it was right here. No, this is the apple stands here. Huh. The apple. I grew it myself. Oh, well, I mean, they are two little girls. Why was I asking them where a bracelet stand was? They don't even work here. Hmm. I'll take this apple, though. Thank you. See? See? <laughs> Apples are good. Everybody likes apples. I, okay, be nicer to your customer. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys have been there yet. You have to go to the stand next to the honey wax. They have drugged icing. Ooh. That sounds fun. I don't follow her. Is he eating a cupcake? I think I'd like a cupcake. Oh, I... So sorry, so sorry to interrupt. Um, look, if you see two little girls, just you know, just in, just go along with them. I'm just really trying to boost up their ego, but yeah, they don't have any psychic abilities or anything like that. So you know, but what? what is going on at this farmer's market? Do they have alternate personalities? Maybe those little children have other personalities like I do. You know what? I quit. Screw the farmer's market. And yes, see, that's our show.